Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well and welcome to a Chelsea Transfer News Update video giving you the latest news on what's happening in the January transfer window. Obviously, the main story at the moment is, of course, strikers. Lampard has told Chelsea, the Chelsea board, Marina Granovskaya, Roman Abramovich, the whole gang, that it's imperative that Chelsea sign a striker this January to bolster their chances of securing top four because, of course, they can't keep relying on everyone else around them messing up. Now, there's been developments with the French Lyon striker Moussa Dembele and Chelsea have reopened negotiations after I guess uncertainty on whether they can get Cavani over the line and there's a few reasons why perhaps Moussa Dembele could end up at Chelsea in the coming days. Before we do get into the content, quick reminder to subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Please do sub, hit the bell notifications icon, please, why not, like the video. Alright, let's get into it. So, to preface this, Chelsea are of course massively interested in Edison Cavani, the big Uruguayan striker from PSG. Ideally, he would be perfect. Now, if you haven't seen that, I'd recommend you go back a couple of videos and watch my videos on Cavani and you'll learn about the proposed deal that Chelsea have posed to PSG to take Cavani for the remainder of his contract six months before he goes off to Madrid in the summer. This would take the wages off PSG's books. It would also, well, it'd also get a five million pound loan fee. And in terms of Cavani's perspective, he gets to play football, more regular football than he would at PSG for the remaining part of the season until he makes his desired move to Atletico Madrid. In an ideal world, that would suit all parties, but Chelsea aren't certain they can get this deal over the line, even though they are negotiating the move in Paris. So, Moussa Dembele, the young French striker that's playing for Lyon, already got 11 league goals this season and an assist to boot. The way Dembele is going, he could get up to 20 league goals at the rate he's scoring, and last season he actually got 15 goals in the league. Ah, as well as 4 assists, so that's 19 goal involvements and just 21 appearances last season. That's pretty good. 21 appearances, 19 goal involvements. A superb return. So he looks like an excellent option, plus he's young, he could develop with the squad, and he'll have some resale value for Chelsea Football Club. Now, Chelsea have seen a bid for £40 million rejected, which is a lot for a striker from Ligue 1, but we all know the market's crazy, and we all know how January can be, and, you know, inflates the price. Plus, they just don't want to sell him. He's a striker in form, doing well, and I think with the new French TV deals, they are less I'm saying inclined. I think people, the money's distributed better or they get more money in France now. A little bit closer to the Premier League. So clubs feel, they don't feel pressured to sell players in form. So Dembele had a good season last season and he looks like he's having an even better one. Or he's on course to have an even better one this season. Now it has been reported of course that Moussa Dembele would be interested in the Chelsea move and would be happy with the terms that Chelsea offer him. So second striker, plenty of opportunities, uh, you know, second choice after Tammy Abraham. In fact, play in place of Tammy Abraham when he's injured or fatigued. Loads of opportunity and of course move to Southwest London and make that sweet dollar because you can bet your bottom dollar that Chelsea would pay Moussa Dembele a lot more than Leon are currently paying him. So what's changed in this deal? What developments are there? Well, of course, it's been reported today that Chelsea have reopened talks, but are they just going to increase the bid? Well, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. As we all assumed, Giroud was on his way out to join Conte at Inter, but Frank Lampard kept saying in press conferences, he will only go if it suits all our needs, if everyone's happy. But right now, that's not the case. Not everyone's happy, so he's not moving. Lampard said that a few times. It looks like the deal to Inter has got too many complications and may be off. And in fact, the Milan club are looking at Fernando Llorente once of Tottenham to play that role. So where does that leave Olivier Giroud? He needs to be playing football and Chelsea need to get some value out of him. Enter a Leon exchange. Leon is a high enough profile of club for Giroud to go and start play football. Giroud is French. He speaks French. It kind of fits perfectly. Obviously Leon are a very big club. And for him to go in there, I think it's kind of perfect. And that is a high enough level for France coach Didier Deschamps to be happy with him starting in the Euros. Sure, it's not an Inter fighting for the Scudetto, but let's face it, it's uh, Lotaro and um, Lukaku up front for Inter. Giroud would have been the rotational striker to play in the Europa League. 
But the thing is, if Chelsea can do a deal with Leon to get Moussa Dembele to come to Chelsea and they give Olivier Giroud, plus obviously a decent amount of cash, one would imagine, again, that would work. Giroud gets to play football, play in the motherland, start every single game, none of this rotational striker nonsense. And everyone should be happy. To be honest, if Leon are upset and they're reluctant to sort of sell and negotiate Moussa Dembele, they get World Cup winner Giroud. That must make things a lot easier. Sure, he's old now, but Leon, the profile of club they're at, they should be pretty happy with that. If Chelsea come up to them and say, look, you can have a World Cup winner, Giroud, who's going to start for France in the Euros, plus, mm, I don't know, like what, 35 million pounds? Maybe even 40 million pounds. Do you know what I mean? Just loads of money, force their hand, and they go, look, we won't be short a striker. Giroud's going to start, and we can have all this money. I think we should take it. So looking at Moussa Dembele on who scored, like I said, he's got 12 goal involvements in 17 appearances this season, so that's good, 11 goals and one assist. Obviously just the one assist isn't a lot, but it just shows he's a finisher, a goal scorer, exactly what Chelsea are looking for and what they need this season. So yeah, 12 goal involvements in 17 appearances is a very healthy return. He takes two point shots per game. Not too little, not too much, probably just right. I imagine he's quite clinical. And yet yeah, it has been reported that Roman Abramovich will find upwards of 40. Yeah, it has been reported that Chelsea would have to bid or offer more than 45 million pounds. So that's what I said, maybe 40 million pounds plus Olivier Giroud could suit all parties in this instant. Moussa Dembele and Cavani both could bolster Chelsea's season hugely well or be a huge positive to Chelsea's campaign for the remainder of the campaign. And they're both very, very different. I mean, if you could offer one to me, I'd probably take Cavani because it, the way the deal is structured, you're not buying uh, you know, a really old player for so long. You're buying an elite marksman. You're buying, you're loaning an elite marksman for six months. Now that kind of makes sense. He can just finish loads of goals. But at the same time, if you go for Moussa Dembele, you are buying a striker. You're like, right, this guy's very young. He's in his very early 20s. He'll sign a five-year deal. Do you know what I mean? It's not a six-month loan for a, an older guy. So if you do do this six-month loan for Edison Cavani, it means, obviously, you get the help towards the end of the season. But it also indicates that in the summer, Chelsea are going to try and use the, the summer window where you can do better business to maybe assess bigger and broader options for more of like a long-term plan. Now, I'm not saying Chelsea are gonna sign Timo Werner in the summer and then, you know, Cavani could just fill the gap in the meantime, because I'm not sure Chelsea are gonna be in for Timo Werner. Personally, I think if Chelsea made like a sort of top-tier Galactico signing in the summer, that would be someone more in the mold of Jadon Sancho, because, you know, Pedro, maybe even Willian will both be out at that point, and it will be replacing that wide, superstar talent of Eden Hazard, kind of. Do you know what I mean? So personally, I don't think Chelsea will be going in for an elite centre forward. I think they will put all the eggs in the Tammy Abraham basket. They just need him to be supported. So whether that comes in the shape of Moussa Dembele in January, signing, say, like a four and a half or even five and a half year deal, or they wait into the summer and assess different options and look for like different, you know, second tier strikers or even like a striker the same level as Tammy that can put the pressure on and really challenge for that spot you need to buy someone that's not going to undermine Tammy because Tammy Abraham is getting better he scores a lot of goals but he misses a lot of chances he's gonna get better the more he matures with this Chelsea team and becomes more clinical he's got that kind of character that's why he scored so many goals down in the championship he will get better so you don't want to spend 140 million on a centre forward because how you know you're gonna squash this potential superstar in Tammy Abraham and people might laugh at that but I'm genuinely serious when I say Tammy Abraham can get better and better and better he has got better and better and better throughout his career I believe when he's got more chemistry with this Chelsea side and he just develops and is confident more I think he can do really well so it's difficult you either get Cavani for six months or you sign Moussa Dembele I would actually be really excited to see Moussa Dembele at Chelsea. He obviously speaks English, well I'm assuming he does because of the Fulham and Celtic connection. And with Michy Batshuayi, sure Batshuayi had a good season in France before Chelsea got him, but he's had a weird time at Chelsea, Batshuayi. He sort of just floated around on the different coaches, demonstrated good finishing here and there. We know he's lethal, but I feel like 
Chelsea would benefit a lot more from Moussa Dembele than from Michy Batshuayi. Plus really, at this point, there's gotta be an element of trusting Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard hasn't had a chance to make a signing yet. Plus, look what he did at Derby. Look where Derby are now. Frank Lampard brought through Bogle. He brought in um, Harry Wilson. He brought in Mason Mount, who all performed really well for Chil um, Chelsea, Derby that season. And obviously, Fikayo Tomori was their player of the season. Lampard collected all these players. You know, he consolidated them and put them into a project. So, sure, he's learning as a coach, and he's still a young coach, and he will develop and will have to learn some lessons as Chelsea coach. But there does seem to be something there in terms of collecting players and having an idea and a philosophy. So I kind of want to trust him and see if he can do the same with a checkbook, with a Roman Abramovich checkbook, you know, like 45 million pounds on a striker. Boom, there you go. We trust you. Is Moussa Dembele what you want? He's already said he's in the back of his head, so he has been thinking about it. If the current Chelsea players aren't playing out his ideas on the pitch, he thinks this player can do it then why not go and get him still it's a matter of days till the transfer window close but chelsea are doing everything they can to bring in a striker that's a priority position the left back the right winger that will all wait till the summer it's going to be deadline day for a center forward and at the moment the two most likely are Moussa Dembele or Cavani and really it's probably looking more like Moussa Dembele unless there's someone behind the scenes that Chelsea are working on that has not yet been leaked to the press. But of course I will swing by football therapy every single day and I will keep you guys updated on who Chelsea are looking at, who's been reported, what's behind the reports and the likelihood of signings but at the moment it does look like it's Dembele or Cavani. If you enjoyed the content today, guys, be sure to like the video. Remember to subscribe if you are new because I am going to keep everyone updated on what's happening in Southwest London and indeed, I guess, around Europe, depending on where they're looking at players. Remember, you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. I'm nearly on a thousand uh, followers on Instagram. It could sound like a lot, but considering I'm pushing 40k on the YouTube channel, I thought I'd have some more Instagram followers by now, so come and follow me on Instagram at Football Yannick. You're welcome to do the same on Twitter as well at Football Yannick. That's it from me, everyone. So you lot enjoy the football. Swing by tomorrow. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.